Is this going to be more political theater? Yeah, I think, uh, Alex, I think they can ask you a to... question. Yeah, somebody's got a question. Who's that, Ogre? Uh, yeah, that's me, Alex. Um, so I've seen your debates about dinosaurs before, and I want I want to know your opinion on on this statement. So I personally have seen dinosaur bones before. I physically touched them. If you don't, what is your opinion on me saying that sentence? Like, did I actually touch dinosaur bones or? I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you, you may, you, you touched a bone, but the, but the fact that you think they're 65 million years old is, is ludicrous. I mean, the fact so, that the degradation of dating something by the degradation of carbon is so inaccurate. So you have no idea how old those bones could be. Could they be a lizard? Could they have been alligator bones from a long time ago? Yeah, sure. But I mean, you're telling me that's a, a, a T-Rex. You can prove so, that's a T-Rex. Uh, it's false. Let me, let, let, let me, let me uh, adjust my statement a little bit. I touched, I have touched the bones of something that does not exist and has no like human record of it existing. The, like the, the structure of the bones of the, of the face of the head do not exist anymore. So was that something that like died before humans recorded these things or. I mean, I'm, I guess I just got to take your word for it. You touch some creature that's never so, like, I try existed in like, mankind. Like, I, I no, I'm, just supposed to, to I'm just supposed to believe you. I mean, I guess if you touch it, then yeah, then I, then that means Well, I'm asking you, what, what did I touch if it wasn't a Triceratops head? So you're telling me uh, Triceratops head versus every single other thing in the world, what could it have been? Yeah. Well, if it wasn't a Triceratops, I'm wondering what I, what I, what was I? How do you know it was a Triceratops? Well, it has the three horns, had the frill, had all the characteristic are features there any animals, of the bones. Are the there any animals today that have horns? Not that look the way this skull did, no. Yeah, the skull no. is unique <clears throat> among extant species that exist that humans have documented. Well, that, I mean, so, like, like I said, that's a cool story. I mean, you don't have any. Well, I, I'm not saying you need to believe me. I'm saying, in your opinion, given your given your beliefs, what what was I dealing with? Like some sort of old, like rhinoceros, exists. some sort of like pre-existing, you know, prehistoric. Well, a rhinoceros uh, has rhinoceros. one, one that had three. It could have been a mutated uh, rhinoceros. You know, it's like a deer. Have you ever seen a deer with three antlers? You know, it's, it could be. I mean, there could be a. a yes. It could be a, a more plausible. Reason. I have seen a deer with three antlers. Yeah. Oh, so you you think it's more likely that what I physically interacted with was a mutated existing species than a dinosaur? More than likely, yes. Okay, gotcha. We can. I can go deeper. I can, we can go continue this if you want. But if you want to talk on different topics, that's cool. I just want to. No, know I'm just saying. I mean, you just touched. You just touched an old rock. I mean, you say you touched a bone. You didn't even touch a bone. You touched a rock. So, you know, you're sure. being a I mean, so you don't even know what you're, you're dating a rock. You don't even know what you touch. I mean, uh, I, I, we can get into fossilization, but because you guys put together a bunch of rocks and you think it's some three horned uh, triceratops that you found the only one that's ever existed. And just the what shit, do you mean by put together? Like the it thing wasn't intact. It's not intact. Million. There's no way you don't dig it all in one piece. It's not intact, so you have to recreate this thing. And, and a lot of it's done through uh, artistic interpretation. Those are all dinosaurs are basically artistic interpretation. So it's like, listen, I'm not saying you didn't dig something up, but if these dinosaurs are 65 million years old, why are they all within like 5,000 feet? Or they're all, I mean, they're all within, you know, relatively not very deep at all. It doesn't make sense that they're all this this high up. They should be much deeper, in my opinion, as well. Okay. That, as I said, I, I don't want. I don't want to. If we don't want to talk dinosaurs, we don't have to. But like, I, I have touched these things. So you touched some rocks. Uh, yes, yes. And I know granted, there's a lot of paleontologists. I haven't, I haven't radiometrically dated the rocks personally, but I have worked with radiometric dating before. So like, I trust it given my experience with it. Exactly. I mean, you trust radiometric dating. I don't because they can take you can take lava that's just hardened and then radiometric date it, and they say that it's millions of years old. So that I would say that's inaccurate. Well, tool. Do, do you have an example of that? What what, what are you talking? There's about? multiple examples of that. There's there's examples. I believe of, it, but which one? 
Oh, dude. I mean, I gotta cite my sources now. I gotta, I gotta come here, debate you, and give you a bibliography, ogre. You're not even. Uh, you don't your... have to. No, it's just, just funny. Do, you, you won't even come. You won't even show your face on camera. I'm just saying. It's like now I gotta come here. I gotta debate you. Got to show my face. And now I also gotta cite the source of the thing. So you're telling me you don't think that's ever happened? Nobody's ever gotten lava and tested it, and it tested. No, I, ogre. I, I'm you sure. Think that's I, I'm impossible? sure. What I, I'm sure. What examples I'm thinking of are the examples you're thinking of. Uh, the St. Mount St. Helens examples, uh, th those were dated by, I think, the uh, whatever rate team. There we go. The rate team by CRM, right? I'm sure that's what you're thinking of. But I just didn't know because they've used different methods to date the different lava samples. So I don't know specifically what you're referencing. So you're just being annoying. Well, I'm not trying to be annoying. I'm well, I'm saying you know the study. I'm referencing a study, and you know that that study exists. But now well, I got to go and I got to tell you which them, particular. So. I know that's what I'm saying. There's multiple studies. So what do I got to tell you? Every single individual study. I mean, what are we here to debate this topic? Or why? So does that mean radiometric well, dating? If, if you no, like no, let, to, then, I can, listen. I can no, I'm try, just saying. Yeah. So does that mean radiometrics dating? If there's multiple studies that have done that and dated the rocks wrong, then how can you say a radiometric dating is accurate? Well, I can say. For the rate example, if you want to use the rate in Mount St. Helens, they were using a radiometric dating technique that would not work for young ages. And it was told beforehand that the statement would not work for young ages. They did it anyways. They got false readings, which is what they should have gotten. So of if you can use the wrong it doesn't tool, work don't on, be uh, it doesn't work. I know, but don't you think that's very convenient that they can say it, does, uh, it should work on all well, rocks the same? It doesn't that, that's do like that. Trying it, to nail, it's like trying to no, nail a nail with is, a screwdriver. Of course no, it's not going to work. No, what that is is that's just an excuse of why the, it's inaccurate. That's all that is. But well, you, you're not going to see that, but it's the, just so You're using clear. a tool in, in the way it's not supposed to be used, and then you're expecting it to work. That's not fair. It, the tool never works. Radiometric dating never works. It's in accurate. They tell you it's with. You don't know dating. that because you're not fifteen thousand years old. You're not as old as the rocks. So you're just taking somebody's I, word for it, dude. I mean, multiple listen, different dating techniques have combined to form the same answer because it's the same technology doing it. <laughs> find the same answer. It that so, doesn't make that, it accurate when you're using the same calculator just because it's a broken calculator. It has the same, you know. Well, it's not the same calculator. Radiometric, radiometric. We can say here, you can say, you can say can radiometric's 100% percent accurate, but I do not think it's accurate. So, I mean, we're just going to keep well, going back and forth. You think it's so accurate. That yeah. just shows you how that just shows you how ingenuine you are that, you know, just the rate well, that I'm they not say ingenuine. that it's I've well, actually they, just used the, this to achieve just, results. Well, then what is the rate that it says that it's inaccurate by? Well, there's an error bar. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, what's the error bar? Uh, well, it depends on what exactly. particular radiometric See, it has, a, you're doing. It has a huge error but bar because it's I've all used wrong. argon argon dating, which has an error bar of thousands of years. But when you're talking million, billion year old rocks, that doesn't really matter. You're talking about how one convenient. Or less. How convenient is that? See, that's just so inaccurate. You're going to say, oh, it's only off that's by a thousand inaccurate. years. That's You're saying it's right by a million years. One percent's not Dude, inaccurate. Listen, we can we can sit here at Ogre all day long talk about radiometric dating, but I, I just don't even want to waste my time arguing this subject. Well, we can move on. That's cool with me. I just wanted to ask you your opinion. Yeah. Hey, Alex. Uh, sorry, I don't want to be rude and just uh, leave the studio or whatever, but um, anyways, I will catch uh, with you guys um, later, okay? See you, Norris. Um, yeah, I'm at two bye, hours. Bye. You guys, guys have a good night. And, uh, See you, Take care. The matters. <laughs> and I'm getting out of here, too. I'm getting out of here. See you, Steven. Good All luck right. for the 24-hour stream. Wheelchair Bear. Right. Thank you for having me. Thank you, guys, for having okay. me. Thank you, right. Ogre. See you, guys. Oh, Take care, man. Are we on? You're on. So we're on some other guy's stream. Thank you oh. very much, Cider. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Wait, yeah. Who, okay, who's so hosting? Check this? out Danger <laughs> Cats there. See ya. It's, I thought Alex was hosting this. Who's hosting this? No, not me. Cider. See ya. Cider oh heck, okay. Well, let's. Well, okay, that that was just a waste of time. You know, I don't even know why I went on his stupid twenty-four hour debate. Uh. You know, just trying to be nice, but I guess it's fun, you know, going on somebody else's show. What are you going to do? You know, we're, we we came on, talk about some intense subjects. It's fun. I don't think it was very structured. We didn't really have um, particular topics to talk about. So a little bit of a clusterfuck. The last guy was annoying ogre. 
I don't even freaking like, uh, I don't like talking about radiometric dating. I want to argue about something a little more interesting. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, did this uh, uh, sample tester, uh, you know, sample it correctly? I mean, we just, it's just, we have to take uh, a machine's word for it. And I just don't think that's enough evidence for me. Especially when, you know, any machine can be corrupted. So, yeah, that that's that's my opinion on that. But guys, 